Inspire me to be the highest me. Mommy motivation. Welcome to Inspire Me Mondays. I'm Z, and in this series, I share lessons in family, faith, and fulfillment. Thank you for those of you who tuned in last week to our premiere where we did a live chat of the video. Every Monday, we will do live chats where we're both being able to watch the video and to interact with each other and others in the community about the topic. So I hope you will join us for live chats, but if for some reason you miss it, the replay will always be on the channel and I hope you will still leave a comment so that we can interact with one another. This topic for today is near and dear to my heart and it centers around statements that we sometimes make as moms about what's enough. And when we think about that word enough, the definition in and of itself is a bit subjective because it has to do with the quality or the quality quantity of something that is met to our satisfaction. And when we think about that, it really boils down to what are we satisfied with? So you may have made statements before where you said, if I only had enough time, then I would be able to get this done. If I only had what this person over here has, when I watch this mom, I have a hard time seeing that they aren't able to get things accomplished. But for some reason, I just don't have enough blank, enough patience, enough um, personal time, enough commitment, enough resources, whatever it may be. Sometimes that word enough just finds itself slipping out of us in ways that can become so damaging because when we really think about it, as long as we are in this flesh, as long as we are in this body, our human nature will never be satisfied. It will always be yearning for more of something, more time, more love, more focus, more commitment, more whatever you fill in the blank. And instead, what will happen is that our brains, which are already consumed by so much as mamas, considering all the tasks we take on, just as a mom, not to mention all the other titles and hats that we wear in our day-to-day -day life, it's enough just in what you have to do every day to then be boggled down by feeling insufficient. But guess what? God never asked us to be enough. And said, he said, but my grace is sufficient. My grace is enough for you. He gives us what exactly we need to do. It is in our ability to boast in our weakness and our ability to say, God, I don't have it all figured out. I don't have everything that I think um, I should have. And guess what? I surrender what I do have for you. And I surrender it because I know that your strength is made perfect in my weakness. So where I fall short, you will make up the difference. So here's what I've learned. I've learned to start the day and to go throughout my day having these conversations. These conversations that say, instead of wanting more of something, I will release what I do have. God, this morning, my attitude hasn't been the best toward my children. I did not give them everything that they deserve in the way that I talk to them. Please make up the difference. Help me to bridle my tongue. Help me to speak, God, and be slow to speak and to be quick to hear what I am to say. Or God, I notice Samantha seems to have such patience with her children. And it seems like she's able to connect with them in maybe ways that I'm not. God, I'm releasing to you that tinge of jealousy that may be in my heart and comparing myself to somebody else. Help me, Lord, to see that you have placed in me exactly what I need to be for my children and you'll make up the difference. God, there is something that has been going on and troubling me in my mind or in my body, and it's created a fear. I surrender that to you because I know you said that a fear is not you. You've given me the power of love and a sound mind. God, so today I ask you to make up the difference so that that doesn't consume me, so that guilt doesn't consume me, so that rejection doesn't consume me, so that the feeling that I just need more time, help me to relinquish my time Time, the 24 hours that you give to me and everyone else. Help me to yield that to you so that you can show me where there is sufficient time for me, God, to do what you've called for me to do. You can make up the difference. So I'd like to just help encourage you today and let you know that it's not about feeling like you're enough. You may never feel that way. 
but you've got somebody on your side that is able to make up the difference, that's able to fill in the gaps, that's able to give you a peace even when storms are going on. I love that Paul says, I boast in my weakness. I boast in my hardships. I boast in the infirmities that hit my house because that gives God opportunity to rest. That gives him opportunity to rest on me, to change my circumstance, to come in and get the glory out of my life. So today, I want to say enough to feeling like you have to be enough and that instead release what's in your hands and let God make up the difference. This is your Inspire Me Monday. I hope you feel inspired. Be blessed. Mommy Motivation